Hello everyone. Welcome to IT Frontier. My name is Hari Harnath. In this video, we'll talk about how to send and receive messages using MQTT protocol, which is majorly used in IoT applications. It takes time and effort to create content for you guys. So please support by subscribing to this channel and hitting the bell icon. Let's get started. So before diving into the uh, node red flow, we'll talk about what is MQTT. So MQTT is a message queue telemetry transport. So it's a lightweight protocol, which is majorly used for resource constrained IoT applications. So why do we use MQTT? So because HTTP in general use cases will have high overhead and use more bandwidth. And but MQTT doesn't use much bandwidth and it has less overhead because of that it can be used in resource constrained applications such as IoT. And it is also going to be using publish and subscribe mechanism. Let's talk about what is publish and subscribe. This is a publisher. So here the car speed meter is going to be a publisher and in between we'll be having a broker which listens to all the messages and transfers routes them to a subscriber. So subscriber would be one person so who is going to be subscribing to a topic that this publisher is going to publish. For example, this is publisher is trying to publish to a topic called speed. And if this person, has, subscriber, has subscribed to this topic, then this broker will try to send the message to that person. So what it is done, doing here is the publisher will publish 70 miles per hour. And this broker will have the list of all the persons who have subscribed to this topic that is speed. So this subscriber will be receiving the messages via this broker. So this is how you can see that publish and subscribe mechanism is going to work. But in general client server, we, uh, the client has to request from the server and then only server responds. But here it's opposite. So it's completely different and decentralized. There is no uh, tight coupling here. Everything is loose, loosely coupled because everything can be handled by broker. So you don't have to be online at that time whenever this publisher is going to be sending. So you can have some settings so that whenever the subscriber comes online, it can receive the last message as well. So this is how it can work. And this publish subscribe mechanism is useful for events in IoT. So in IoT, we'll be mostly talking about events. So we'll be seeing that if such event occur, the temperature rises or humidity rises, then only we want to send messages. So for such scenarios, publish and subscribe will be used. So we'll now talk about how to create a node red flow using that. Now let's get back to the node red. So node red in here, if I click double click here or use the plus button, I can create a new flow and I can rename it as MQTT and I'll click it done. So we have a new flow available here. And if we search the node palette, we'll be having a network under networks, we will be having MQTT in. So we'll take the MQTT in because we'll be receiving the messages first and then we'll try to also send a message via node red. So first we'll try to receive it and once we have to receive it, we have to uh, double click on it and provide some value. So this is the server that I am going to use. So how the, this is the public MQTT broker of HiveMQ. So I'll share you the link over here. So if you go to this link, HiveMQ public MQTT broker, you'll be seeing this public MQTT broker and here you'll be having some host URL and the ports that you need to use. So here I'll be using this broker.hiveMQ and the TCP port 1883. So here, uh, whenever I use the server here, that is coming from this place. So now I have done this and I have to provide a topic. So I'll use a topic called I IoT Frontier and then I'll use Humidity Sensor. So this is the topic I have created and then I'll be using, uh, so we can use 0, 1, 2. These are the quality of service for message guarantee. So I can use two, the highest one for now and I'll click on done. And we can also check the server if you click on uh, this uh, server. So we can also edit the port. And right now we are using uh, without TLS. That's why 1883. If we want to use the TLS, then you should use 3883. So for this experiment, we are going to use 1883. And then what is the protocol version that we are going to use? Right now 3.1.1. And then a keep a live session and all those things will be here. So I have updated and click on done. Next thing we need to do is we need to have a JSON. 
so we will we'll have to convert whenever we get some json values uh, so we have to convert them into objects and uh, J- javascript objects and vice versa so for the this parcel will be use, useful so i'll connect this and inside the json we can convert between json string and object this is how it will be going to be useful and then if you want to see in the debug here so the values that are coming so we have to attach the debug as well so right now we have connected everything and we have uh, taken this as a topic so what we can do now is we have to deploy it so if we deploy it we can first see the confirmation of connected symbol here if it is shown as connected then it means that you have connected successfully to the broker and ready to receive messages so next we can go to the uh, browser client so hivemq provides as the browser client by which we can publish the messages so they have by default a web socket client so you don't have to worry what is the host port and all here because these are just for uh, connection in between their uh, broker so we just click on connect so you will see connected and here you have to type the topic that you have selected for receiving the messages in node thread so now i'll uh, paste the json code here so i'll give you a code of so name and humidity sensor the value will be 34 so i'll try to publish with queries 2 and here i'll publish it and immediately i should get a value here 34 and i'll try to change it to 37 so now i publish it and i should get it here 37 so this is how we are able to use mqtt in a uh, node to receive the messages from anywhere the client is connected it is going to be connected to the uh, the broker so in hive mq broker we are connecting and publishing so here we are receiving and we can see the values here so now you have seen that we have received everything under debug node so here and now if you want to send a message from node red itself instead of sending a web socket client externally i want to use a uh, message sending mechanism from here itself. so for that we can use this mqtt out so this mqtt out will try to send a message to a certain topic with the broker and before sending that we need to use uh, a trigger right so we have to use inject so inject we are using and inject if you want to convert into json again so whatever the values that we send it has to be parsed to Uh, the object and it has to go there right so that's why i'll be using this so json and json to mqtt in json i'll be having convert between json string and object and here the time stamp i can provide the value instead of time stamp i can provide a json value so here i can provide a humidity sensor from node red so to differentiate from the web socket client i am using this from node red and giving the value 44 so that is done and mqtt we need to connect so here already we have once provided the server so it has already already taken so here i need to provide the topic so i'll copy the topic from this so once i have copied here i'll use the qs and check if everything is okay so here everything is okay and i'll click on dub done so now we have done this so what we can do is we can just publish so deploy it once we have deployed we can see the connected message coming here so right now it is ready to send the messages what i can do is i can clear everything here and i'll click on this so you can see that humidity sensor from node red value is 44 and i can update this so if you, if i want to update it manually i can do it so 46 and then deploy so now if i click on it you should see 46 and if i want to send the similar messages for repeated intervals like for every 5 seconds i need to send and deploy it so we can wait and listen to messages that are coming so 5 seconds if we have seen one that is 124834 and immediately 39 we got something so this is how we can send and receive the messages so if you have found this video helpful so please like this video and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching